Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. Today we're gonna do a reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a couple of guys in the comment section below. They wanted me to go and react to Allah will give Palestine victory. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. I love you Allah. And there is a loneliness there. There is an estrangement there. So I'm gonna to mention to you the last ayah which I feel like fits our moment right now. And inshallah ta'ala, we can take some of the lessons from it. People have gathered against you. Look, everybody is against you. There are too many people on the other side of that trench. So be afraid. Be afraid. Now, before we get there, there's something deeply profound about the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala built the character of the Muslims and built their spirituality to become more and more dependent on Him alone and to be able to face what it was like to be estranged. When you go through the Qur'an and you go through the momentous incidents that are referenced, first and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions to us in the aftermath of Surah, to, uh, in the aftermath of the battle of Badr, if تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ Remember when you called upon your Lord and He answered you, إِنِّي مُمِدُّكُمْ بِأَلْفٍ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ مُرْدِفِينَ I am going to support you with a thousand angels that will be followed by another thousand angels, the rows of angels that will come. Now here's the thing, if you're in Badr, this is your very first time experiencing what it is like to have that level of hostility, to be that outnumbered on the other side, to have that much more artillery on the other side. It wasn't just being three to one outnumbered, it was also the fact that they had their horses, they had their camels, they had the full equipment of war. The Muslims had one or two horses available in the Battle of Badr to them. Everything is stacked against you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows them the angels descending upon them. They could actually see the malaika themselves coming down, lined up. The signs of the angels were all around them. And so they outnumbered them, the people on the other side, and they felt it. They felt it from the very beginning. They felt the push of the angels. They saw the effect of the angels on Quraysh. They saw every single moment of the battle that they were not alone, that they had divine support that was sent down to be with them. Now here's the thing, couldn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have supported them without sending malaika? Couldn't, ha couldn't have been without the angels being visible to them as these things unfolded before them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا جَعَلَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بُشْرَى Allah did not show that to you except as a glad tidings. وَلِطَطْمَئِنَّ بِهِ قُلُوبُكُمْ And so that your hearts could find some ease. It did something for you. It did something for you to be able to see the angels coming down, the miraculous signs that you were not alone on the day of Badr. But at the end of the day, وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Victory was only from Allah, it wasn't from Jibreel alayhi salam. Victory was from Allah, it wasn't from Mikail alayhi salam. Victory was from Allah, it wasn't from all of the angels that He sent to you. At the end of the day, victory came from God. Victory came from above. But Allah sent you that sign in that early journey of your Islam, of your faith, to let you know you're not as alone as you think you are. Then comes the battle of Uhud. They didn't see angels in the battle of Uhud. And I spoke about this a few days ago, the messaging that came down. Look, you suffered a blow, this hurt. Don't lose heart. Don't grieve. You are still exalted, you are still victorious so long as you retained your belief, so long as you retained your faith, so long as your principles, your purpose remains intact, you are victorious. Anyway, it's a nice video, but um, I think the title should be like that. Uh, so, uh, recently, I was watching news and I saw a lot of people are in Palestinian side. If not a lot of people, a collective of people are, are really behind Palestine. 
the, um, I saw the other day the, uh, the Turkish people also support Palestine and there, were, there was a lot of rallies that was going around like a protest people are walking around with the flags and whatnot even here in Cyprus the same thing happened like we mourn for almost like uh, three days it's for a good cause I mean that's really amazing uh, looking at the title here yes pa Palestine will get the victory but we are forgetting that people are still dying until this moment maybe until when Palestine gets the victory maybe there will be no more people around there you know there will be no existence on earth or whatnot the idea of becoming victorious is amazing but the process of the process of which is being used to become victorious is the one that is really demeaning and it's really not appropriate because you know uh, this kind of wars can really be stopped in amicably you understand but if we put much force then the people are the ones who are going to get hurt the elites are somewhere just sitting down enjoying their enjoying themselves in in their nice protective places with lots of bodyguards surrounding them but the innocent people are the ones who are dying now when you look at all this war that we are seeing now who is it affecting and what's the agenda behind it is it that the the war is happening so that they can be able to erase a certain class of people so that the elites can be able to control certain class of people also eventually or it's a war that uh, it has happened naturally and not orchestrated it can be two ways it happened naturally but again we can look at it in a, in a, in a point of view where they orchestrated all this again a lot of things are coming out now we are seeing people are saying that uh, Hamas is being funded by the Western you know allies and all those kind of stuff people are saying some videos that are coming out of Israel Palestine some of them are fake so you get to have some sort of discernment for you to be able to come up with a solid truth behind what is happening around today we can be so hateful on particular person because we've been told this story but because you don't know the other side of the story then your discernment becomes obvious that you are siding with this person but in the actual sense you made that assignment out of emotional control because you didn't have any other proof or evidence to actually analyze and come up with a conclusive truth and whatnot you see so it, it's something that people need to come together we shouldn't let the ones at the top control the narrative or control what is happening because now if we let them do that then we who are here are going to get in trouble you know and lots of people are gonna die lots of people are gonna die so even now I see so many people coming together especially now countries superpower countries are coming together warning each other like if you do this I'm gonna do that you see so and again we see the the Iranians also are, they are also in the picture too which is not really good and it, the, the Iranians, I think, they have nuclear weapon. If they decide to like just drop one in Israel, you know what that's gonna do to the people of Israel, the innocent children in Israel, the people who don't even deserve to die. It's gonna be really bad, and everyone is gonna get affected. Everyone is going to be affected, one way or the other, you know. And we're gonna see what we call the Armageddon, where now. The entire world is being is being uh, put in flames and whatnot. The fight is just it's just gonna be like a never-ending type of fight. So people need to run away, go to safe places and whatnot, just to be able to protect themselves and protect their families. We don't need to see that. We don't need to go to that point when we know that this thing can be solved amicably just by sitting down and shaking hands and try to make sure that we protect our people that's it but we know that there are people who are good and there are people who are evil 
the people who are controlling the entire narrative these are evil people who want people to die and this i feel like is an agenda of depopulation on the other hand at the same time it's an agenda of creating a new world order which probably very soon we're going to see that happening anyway guys just let me know in the comment section what do you think and uh if you feel like the video was was good just let me know what you think about the video what you think about the entire thing that is happening in the middle east just let me know in the comment section do you think that palestine is going to come out victorious or do you think that we're going to see even more worse more worse war yeah just let me know in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe we're in the road to get to 30,000 subscribers and also don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be the first person to watch our videos Last but not the least, I'm going to see you in the next video and deuces.